everyone today I'm making a, another bias bow video I made these pretty little piggy bows I did these ones on clips I've already made one so I'm going to show you how to make this with the other one to match this so first of all I've got my bias here I got this from pixie dot craft supplies and this bias is just under an inch wide or around two centimeters wide and this floral piece I have cut to 17 centimetres in length or just over six and a half inches in length. This plain piece, the same width, cut to 14 centimetres in length or five and a half inches in length. And then these two pieces are both the same length and they are both two, two inches or five centimetres in length, and they are to make the piece around the middle. I'm going to set these two pieces aside. First of all, we're going to take our longest piece and you will need to fold it in half. We'll just give it a little pinch. And then using the heat from my fingers, we should end up with a little crease in there. And that is what I'm going to use as my guide for the center. And then I'm going to fold both ends in and just slightly overlap that crease. So the crease is here and I've slightly overlapped the crease. I'm going to do the same with the other side. Fold it under and slightly overlap where the crease is. So the crease is here, I don't know if you can see it, and the crease is just in the middle of where these two overlap on the underside. Once you've got this all lined up, Pop a couple of clips either side of the center like that and then we're ready to sew at this point you can give it another pinch so you can see the center so you can see where you're sewing I've got a needle here with some strong thread and a knot in the end and I'm going to sew across this crease that I've made four stitches going in through the first edge through the top And then back up for our second stitch about half a centimeter along back in for the third stitch and then out through the last edge for the fourth stitch and then you can remove those two clips and then continuing with the same piece of thread so I'm just going to lay that down whilst we do the same steps with our 14 centimetre piece of bias. So again, I'm going to fold it in half, use the warmth of my fingers to make a crease. You can see it better on this one because it's not patterned. And then bring in one end up, slightly overlapping where the crease is. Bring the other end in, again, slightly overlap where the crease is, making sure it's all in line and that the crease is in the middle where these two overlap that way when you stitch you know you're going to catch all of the layers continuing with the same piece of thread actually I will clip it in place you don't have to clip it in place if you're confident you can just sew but I will clip mine for the sake of the tutorial and then we're going to sew again four stitches in through the top on the first stitch a half a centimeter in for the second stitch I'm not pulling it completely tight because we're joined to the other half of the bow back in for the third stitch and then back out through the last edge for the fourth stitch and then I'm going to remove those clips again and this time when we pull it completely tight that will bring the two halves together and then it will form the pinch and then once you've got the pinch in there you can wrap that thread around a couple of times. One, two, I'll do three. 
pull it tight and then just go in catching a bit of the cotton on the underside and then before you pull it tight go through the loose loop a couple of times to form a knot and that will hold it all in place and then you can trim off the excess thread just move my needle out of the way and that is your double bias bow and now we're ready to make our center piece so I've got these two pieces here, which are five centimetres each. You want to fold these in half. So bias is already folded at the back. I'm going to fold it in towards that folded side. And then using my hot glue gun, I'm just going to place some glue inside. Just check that you've cut all of those layers because obviously it's folded so you may need to just add a little bit more along that tip just to make sure it's sealed together be careful you don't burn your fingers and then do the same on the other end so because you've got these layers you will need to pop it right to the tip very carefully I kind of push it to the tip and then that bonds it together like that. Do the same with the other half. And then taking your two pieces of bias, place one on top of the other glue the top end, join them together and then you need to bring the bottom piece over the top piece. So keeping this on the top, so you're not folding it over, we're not twisting it, we're keeping the top of the bias on the top as we bring it over and lay it on the top of the floral piece. Again, flip it over, pop some glue on there to hold those two together. So you've got this cute little twisty effect in the middle. And then before we add this to the centre, we're going to add a clip. Now, I usually line my clips, but for these bows, I haven't bothered lining them because I don't have any matching colours. So I'm just using the clip as it is placing it on the bottom of my bow and I'm doing the clip the opposite way to the other one because they're piggies. So on this one the pinch part of the clip is on the left and on this one the pinch part of the clip is on the right. So when they're popped in the hair worn as piggies they're both going in the right way. And now we can add our little twisty centerpiece. So I lay this over the top first, central to the hair bow and then bring it over to the underside. At this point, you may need to trim off just a tiny little bit. Not too much, just a tiny little bit from each end. Again, I'll just place some glue along those tips. Just a tiny little rub of the hot glue, just to keep those ends pinched. And then I'll glue the two ends down underneath the clip. Excuse my squeaky glue gun. I don't know why I'm so squeaky all the time. I've noticed in some of my tutorials when I watch them back, it's quite annoying. And then once you've got it stuck down, you will notice that the clip is open a little bit. You can just give that a little squeeze bend the clip in tighter and there you have your cute little cotton bias piggy sets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you press the bell button that will turn on notifications thanks for watching everyone bye